Welcome to the Family First Retirement Podcast with George Politaris. For more information, visit BetrayalWealth.com. Now, let's get to the show. George, I know this time of the year you want to offer and you want to sit down and you want to help the families that you serve with something special. We've been talking about it for the past couple of weeks, but I really want to get into it. It's the Family First Retirement Plan exclusively for our radio audience. But let's detail that. Let's break it down. What does that involve for someone who's getting close to retirement? You know, Mark, when we do the Family First Retirement Plan, it puts all the information that people have up in their head in black and white. Because we always say that retirement is very gray. Mm-hmm. Gray being, I'm really not sure when I can retire, how much money I'll have to come in, what will be the cost of retirement, and even more importantly, can I afford to retire? So when we put this plan together, it consists of a bunch of different reports we put for you. And when we meet with you, you know, we have our customers come in. It's a, a no-cost obligation. When you come in, this is what I do. Cause I, my job here is to educate, inform, and more importantly, enlighten you on where you're going and to make sure you make the right choices that you can decide what's right for you. With the Family First Retirement, it's made up first off of an income plan. And the income plan consists of what you're currently bringing in as a salary. You get paid weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, whatever it may be. We take those numbers in. We look and see what you're gonna have in retirement. So you have a 401k. If you're a federal employee with your version of a 401k, you have a thrift savings plan, a 403b, a 457, anything you have earmarked for spendable assets in retirement, CDs and savings. We go over when's the best time to take Social Security. We add that income in. And if you're one of those lucky few, Mark, that still have a pension in the world, we count that pension in there for the income stream in retirement. Next, we talk about your taxes. And we have, you have to plan for these things, right? It just does not magically appear. Because I always tell people when you meet with myself at Petraea Wealth or my team, and when you meet with Ernie Kalias, who we have a, he's our CPA in-house, and we have a strategic membership together with Freedom Financial, which is Ernie's company, and my company together working, we go over the tax planning process and about how to prepare properly for taxes. Because you can be reactive, or you can be proactive mm-hmm. in this regards. When you work with your person doing your taxes right now, he's being reactive. Okay, last year you had this, how are we gonna minimize your tax obligation or increase your tax refund from the taxes? We meet with myself and work with Ernie. We're being proactive in that regards. Because Mark, you've heard me tell you this before, I don't care about Mark today. I care about Mark in five and 10 years down the road. And how are we going to plan properly to be in the best place? That's where the tax part comes in. We're going to go over a really hard subject for people to think about. And it's going to consist of expenses and do an expense plan. Because most of us don't realize how much money we spend with the nickels and dimes, which become dollars later on. So we know we pay our mortgage and we have health insurance, we have a car. But how about food? How about grass service? How about the alarm, cell phone, streaming services, vacation? And topic I always talk to people about is I want you to have a date night if you're married yeah. or a couple. You got to budget and plan for everything. Why not plan for each other to do things or go with your kids to something just as a family? So we plan for that. Next, we use a proprietary program that we're one of the only agencies in the country, one of the first ones to use it, which is a risk analysis score for Social Security. There's a lot of questions about Social Security. Mark, we had a, a seminar last uh, two weeks ago about Social Security and taxes. And people need to know the facts about Social Security because there's nothing we can do about it. The government's gonna tell us how much, but so many people plan on that being their income stream of part of their income. We need to know the facts if it's gonna be there or not, if it's gonna be reduced or not. And when I do this plan for you, after we put everything together, if it shows a high probability of having a reduction in your benefit in 2033, guess what? We're planning for that. That's in the plan. So if it happens, great. We've already acknowledged it. If it doesn't happen, well, that's even better because you're in a better place. And lastly, we talk about Medicare and long-term care. We are an aging country. We have good news today and we have bad news. The good news is you're living longer. The bad news is you're living longer. Yep. But we have to plan for that. I have so many people come in and they say, well, I have an idea or I think what retirement looks like. And if I ask the question, so what are you going to do for vacation this summer? Oh, my God, we are going to X, Y, Z, and we're getting there on Monday. And we're leaving on Thursday. And that's, they know everything about that. 
Why do we plan so darn hard for a short-term temporary satisfaction of a vacation and not do the same for someone in the last 20 or 25 years? Folks, when you call us at 302-330-2166, or better yet, go to Patria, P-A-T-R-I-A, wealth.com, schedule your no-cost, no-obligation meeting, come into the office here at 501 Silverside. Get a chance to meet with me. Have a good cup of coffee, as my mother would tell me. God bless her. We'll sit down. We'll get to know each other. We'll gather some information, and let's start the process together. It's the Family First Retirement Plan from George Politaris and the team at the Betrayal Wealth Group, and exclusively for our radio audience this weekend. If you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement, that's really where the power begins to start customizing the plan. George wants to sit down with you personally to have this conversation, to talk about your income plan, your tax strategy, long-term care. And George, you had a great event a couple of weeks ago with the community talking about Social Security. Now, we talk a lot about that here on Family First Retirement. But the question is, is it really as big a concern for the families you serve, or is it just a lot of clickbait that's out there? It's becoming more and more prevalent for people that there is a problem. No matter where you get your news from, if it's on the internet, if it's on Facebook, if it's on watching Fox News or CNN or one of the local channels, the times aren't good. No matter what the people tell you, I think with our eyes open, we realize we have some situations right now. We have a high inflationary rate still, we have border crisis, we have wars raging in Europe and in the Middle East. It's not a really good time. And we're spending a tremendous amount of money on these services. We've heard for 40 years that Social Security is in pro- has a problem. Well, has that, we always, I always get lost on this one, Mark. What's the phrase I'm looking for? The, the rubber hits the road. Well, the rubber hits the road. That's what we're about to see. Mm-hmm. They're estimating by 2033 that Social Security will be able to account for about 76% of their promised benefits. That's a 24% reduction. The average American individual, not couples, individuals, are looking at a reduction of about $800 to $1,000 per month per person. And for people that rely on Social Security as their sole source of income in retirement, that's going to be a problem. It is. It's scary. Because I'm going to use Angelo and Betty Politaris, my parents. And Mark, you've heard me talk about my parents in the past Mm -hmm. and why I started doing what I do for a living. My parents saw Social Security was their retirement. You know, my father died unexpectedly. Our mother was on the verge of being homeless. And the five of us, my four siblings and I, did what every family does. And we took care of mom for the next 20 years, not just emotionally, which every family should do, but financially, because they didn't plan. And they thought that that was going to be their form. My mother and father also thought when one person dies, they get to keep both Social Securities. We know that's not true either. But the Social Security issue is a problem, and it's looking worse by the day. You have to plan for it. You know, remember back in 2020 when the government started giving people stimulus money? Yep. Remember that to help with with the terrible time we were going through? Mm -hmm. Not everyone got that gift from the government. Only about 72% of the population received funds. That's what it's going to look like a lot of times Social Security. When we have this cut coming in, people are going to be cut that thought they should get money. If you sit there and blindly walk into the abyss thinking it's okay, and then that door shuts you in the face, what are you going to do, Mark? Say, oh, I didn't know it's a redo, it's a mulligan. This isn't what it's about, folks. It's about getting the answers, looking at the statistics and seeing what the data is going to tell us. And you have to plan, in this case, for the worst case scenario, not the best. When I put together your family first retirement plan and we run the social security risk analysis score, if you're in a high percentage, we are going to plan for it, whether you like it or not. Only because when you leave here, and you may not like what I tell you, and that's okay. I'll tell you, I always say this to people. If you don't like being told the truth and you don't like being told that everything you thought was right your whole life, don't come in. Right. Because you're not going to get hand, your hand held. It's not going to be sugar coated. It ain't I'm sparkles gonna, and unicorns. Well, it's not. And that's okay if you leave upset. If you leave mad thinking, what did he just say? That we're not ready to retire. We're not in the place we thought. That's okay. But don't ever leave and say, why didn't he tell us the truth? Mm-hmm. You're going to get the facts. You're going to get the information you requested. We're going to show you where it's at, give you recommendations, and get you on the right path. 
but you have to pick up the phone and call. You have to take the first step. Give us a call, 302-330-2166, and let's schedule a no-cost, no-obligation meeting. It's the Family First Retirement Plan from George Paul Tars and the team at the Petraea Wealth Group. And when you visit PetraeaWealth.com, you'll meet George. You can meet Ernie, Jared, Achilles, Angie, the entire team. That's who you're going to work with. That's who you're going to see. And that initial consultation, and that's who's going to be with you from day one. PetraeaWealth.com, P-A-T-R-I-A, Wealth.com, or of course, 302 330 2166. George, you mentioned 401ks there a couple seconds yeah. ago. Did you hear the story out of Florida about the guy who uh, thought he had won a big Mega Millions lottery ticket? So the jackpot was sold at this Jacksonville grocery store. Went unclaimed after a six-month deadline expired. So somebody, and this gentleman came up. Now, he said it was his. It was never verified or anything. But the point of the story is, George, somebody lost out on $36 million. <laughs> you talk about generational wealth. Oh, my God. So we've all done great problem. Many, but how many times have you done that? I don't know if you play the lottery. I'll buy a Mega Millions ticket, and I'll just throw it in my wallet, completely forget about it. Mm -hmm. You know? By the way, I'm one of those guys that I don't care if it, the jackpot is a billion dollars. I'm not greedy. Like, if a jackpot's $5 million, I, you know, I'd be okay winning $2.5 million. Absolutely. I, I'd be very— yeah. I'd You know, it's worth my person. time to stop by the, the store and, you know, spend my $2. Yeah. I might do that for $5 million. Right. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I, you know, I, I love people that are like, oh, I'm not going to play at least, at least until it's $100 million. Okay, well, you know what? Good luck with you that. You got to pay to play. So that guy or that gentleman, whoever had that ticket, they lost it. They forgot about it. How do you think about what you do, especially with like 401ks? We have situations where we forget about our old 401ks, where we leave mm -hmm. positions. So when you encounter someone, an adult who forgot about their 401k, how do you check for those orphaned accounts? And more importantly, can they be revived once you've completely lost them and they've become dead accounts? Absolutely. One of the things we always preface with people is, when they're starting, because one of the questions we ask is, so where are you currently working? How long have you been there? And when you see someone that's 55 comes in and they've been at their job for 10 years, more than likely they work prior to those being 45. So did you have a 401k? Oh, yeah, but I, you know, I don't remember. Then we start the process because my mentality has always been, if I don't work with you anymore, if I'm at that employment and I left that employment, why would in the world would I leave my money with them? Mm hmm they don't care about you. They didn't care enough about you to keep you. Why would they care about your money? And at the end of the day, it's your money we're talking about. It's your choices and your decisions. So we're going to go back and start doing the homework to find those accounts. Bring them to you. Maybe move them with your 401k currently or put them into something else where you can use as a safety net for your retirement to go forward. Because when we talk about your retirement and part of how we work with our Family First Retirement Plan is how are we going to replace your income today? And I always say we need three, four, even five reliable, dependable, and even more importantly, Mark, sustainable avenues of income retirement. That old 401k is going to be an avenue of income for us in retirement. Fill one of our voids, one of our streams. We're going to have Social Security. We're going to have a pension. We're going to have some managed funds for you, obviously. So you still need to be big and strong and grow in retirement, but you need a safety net. Think about this. I love the Ringling Brothers Circus. Sure. Growing up with that, I loved it. I know they don't have elephants anymore and the tigers, but I still love the clowns. And they have the high wire act. You know, they have that person walking across up yeah. there and they're jumping up and down this little cord. Yeah. They still have something for when they miss that cord because they're going to miss the cord. Yep. To catch them. Right. And that's your safety net. You, when you use a fixed index annuity, that's your safety net for part of your retirement income. It gives you the opportunity to know that if the world goes a heck in a handbag and my managed funds and my aggressive accounts go down, I know this will never, ever let me down. It will never lose any money. And when I need income, I pulled out of that fixed index annuity. But when the markets go back up, those managed funds we're working for you are going back up, then you pull the money from your gains. It's having a plan. I can't tell you how important it is. Let's plan for our retirement as much as you plan for your vacation. Yeah. Let's take the same mentality about let's figure out we're going to retire and we're going to start traveling the world. Let's say we're going to go visit our kids who have moved away and they're across country and we're going to see those beautiful grandkids. Let's plan for it and get those and let us use these old 401ks, our 401k, our TSP to be what we want to be. 
do what we want to do in retirement and live the best life possible. But when we come into the office at uh, 501 Silverside Road in Wilmington, 19809, we'll start the steps to get your old money back to you, get the plan in your hands, and more importantly, give you the insight to how to move forward. What's the number one fear for adults in retirement? Running out of money, living too long. You know what my number one fear is? What? Clowns. How dare you say that you love clowns? I love clowns. God, what is wrong? I was with just you, watching George? it the other night. No. I love clowns. Nope. Do, 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 do. Nope. You know, Jared, my son, who works in the office, when you come in, Jared is one of the intricate parts of our practice. Yes, sir. And he always sits there and says, you know, he'll stop and just look at me and look up in the ceiling and says, I hear that circus music playing <laughs> right now. So it's a do, 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 do. No. It's, you know what? It's great. How do you not like, there's nothing in the world like having fresh pop popcorn, yeah. having this person walk by with a, a white oh. face on, big yeah. red lips <laughs> around the mouth, a bozo nose. <laughs> my, oh my God, I got to tell you a really quick story. My best friend is Mario Di Costanza, and we've been friends for 40 plus years. We went to college together, we were roommates together. Uh, we met August 7th, 1983, and we've been best friends ever since. Ride or die. Oh, I would do anything for this man. His youngest out of three boys, so he has two older brothers, and he was terrified of Bozo the Clown. I get it. His brothers would get their uh, shoes, and when he was sleeping, beat him with the shoes, <laughs> say, Bozo here, and go run out of the room. That's awful. <laughs> to this day, you say clowns around him, and his eyes get to about the size of soldiers. <laughs> so do you have to create a bucket for him for therapy in retirement? Oh after There's not enough with- money for the therapy to help him. Oh. Good Lord. Yeah. Jared sits there and calls Uncle Mario and says, something's not working right here. <laughs> 302-330-2166. George Politaris wants to work with you to help creating that stuff. Stability- Ability in retirement. It's a family first retirement plan. And this weekend, if you've saved at least 200000 for your retirement, that can be spread across a 401k, a pension, savings, an IRA. That initial yeah. consultation, it's no cost, it's no obligation. And by no obligation, it's worth noting, you said it earlier, you're not required to become a client on that first conversation. It's a get to know you. Let's see where you're at. You may be doing better than you think you are, George. Hey, you know something, Mark? It's about fitting together. Yep. About a puzzle. Maybe you don't like me. Maybe you don't like the way we run our business, and that's okay. Or maybe you're not the right fit for my practice either. Not everyone goes together like that. That first meeting, we're going to talk, and we're going to see how we get along. And we're going to gather some information. But we're going to have an idea if we click together. Because I truly believe if you aren't comfortable and you don't like something you see or hear, you don't do it. Mm -hmm. You don't do anything rashly. I always tell people, whatever Leslie tells me about people, she has a great, my wife has a great knack for picking up on things, on people. And anyone that Leslie has ever said to me, I, something about him bothers me. I can't tell you what it is, George. She's usually right. Sure, gut feelings. And it's gut feelings. And that's why it has to be when we have this relationship together. Because mm-hmm. I know when you come in and we do click, you're never leaving me. Because you are part of my big fat Greek family. With a family, you have all those raw emotions flying through. You have the love because we give, we're the obnoxious Greek family. We give hugs and kisses. Yep, nothing Even wrong to with you, that. Mark. Yep. We give you our thoughts. Sometimes there's no filtration. But we give you the love. We give you the raw emotions. And we give you the guidance, the foot in the backside when something's not right. That's what you need sometimes. Yeah. And it's about treating you like a family member. Yep. Mark, you're one of three boys, right? Yes, sir. Do your brothers always sit there and sugarcoat it with you? Oh, God, no. We're all That's grown men. I'm the baby. We're all married kids, all that stuff. And they still treat me like I'm 12. You're always going to be their little brother. Yep. Angie is my sister. And people think she's my wife. And thank goodness she's not. <laughs> but Angie's my sister. But I love her unconditionally. Investment advisory services are offered only through properly registered representatives of Impact Partnership Wealth, LLC, which is not affiliated with Betrayal Wealth Group. Financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if George Politaris is licensed in your state, please contact his office. George A. Politaris is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Please consult with your attorney, accountant, and or tax advisor for advice concerning your particular circumstances. Annuity guarantees rely on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Read your contract for restrictions, limitations, or penalties. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance products, including annuities, offered through George A. Politaris. NPN number 1750473.